All right, so I'm going to attempt to show you guys another proof here using the double angle identities. Uh, so how, what we have here is sine 2 theta over cos 2 theta minus 1, and this should all be equal to negative cotan theta. Um, so what I'm going to do here is try to play around with this and see if we cancel any terms out, um, make sides equal to each other. So, for example, sine 2 theta, that is a double angle identity, and luckily with sine there's only one form, and that form is 2 uh, sine theta times cos theta. So uh, where I got that was just to find the first identity on the right-hand side here. Now on the bottom, it's a little more interesting. We do have um, a cos 2 theta on the bottom, and uh, as you recall here, we do have four different forms to play with here. So it's all a matter of just... Um, you know, trial, you have trials and you just attempt to simplify as much as you can here. Um, so you can go down the list and try them one by one. Um, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to randomly pick one. I'll just pick this last one here. Cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus sine, oops, sorry, 2 sine squared. So 2 sine squared alpha. Um, so that replaced cos 2 theta. Um, and then we still have the minus 1 that comes after. Um, and this should all be equal to negative cotan theta. Now, negative cotan theta, that is the same thing as negative cosine theta over sine theta. So that's just a quotient identity. Um, so let's see what cancels out here. I see uh, on the top here, I'm just going to leave it as is. There's nothing much I could do with this. But on the bottom, we do have some light terms. Um, so, for example, the 1 and the 1, or negative 1, that actually adds up to make 0. So what I end up getting here is negative 2 sine squared alpha equal to negative cosine uh, theta, sorry, sine theta. All right. So as you can see here, um, on the left-hand side here, we can cancel out some terms because uh, they're common to both the top and the bottom here. So, for example, the 2s cancel out, and also a sine theta will cancel out too. So what I'm left with here on the top is cosine theta over negative sine theta. And as I can see here, it looks like both sides are equal to each other. Okay, so just remember this negative, even though it's on the bottom, you can bring it to the top, and there you go. I have proven both sides are equal, therefore the proof is complete.